Ate her for taking my daughter and leaving the wedding after her stepbrother pulled her wig. My daughter 16 Megan just finished her cancer treatment. She's lost her hair in the process and she's been incredibly insecure because of it. She no longer meets friends nor welcomes them at our home nor even meet family on person. It's been bad to say the least but her stepbrother 18 Ben has been making it worse with his nagging comments and jokes about her looks. He tried taking and posting pics of her secretly to share but I shut that down even though my husband thought it was just harmless teasing. My husband's sister's wedding was last week. The family wanted Megan Yogo but she didn't want to. I spent so much time trying to help her and convince her to start socializing again and see family. She agreed under the condition that I let her wear a wig which I agreed, not only that but I took her shopping to pick her own wig and she looked beautifully stunning in her pixie hairstyle wig. My husband and Ben laughed when they saw it. I don't know why. We went to the wedding and everything was going well till this happened. We were all sitting and we started talking about Megan look, suddenly Ben reached out and pulled her wig and exposed her head. I was shocked I froze but Megan yelled then took her wig and ran. Ben, his cousins and some guests started laughing. I was upset especially when looked over my shoulder and saw my husband sitting next to his mom and laughing. I lost it on Ben and berated him in front of everyone then took my stuff, got Megan and got into the car and went home. Ben and my husband didn't have a ride home and my husband kept calling me but I didn't respond. He came home asking about me leaving mid-wedding and upsetting his sister and then leaving him and Ben with no rude home. I argued with him about how Ben embarrassed Megan and humiliated her publicly which must have ruined what's left of her self-esteem. He said that it was just kids teasing each other and that I overreacted and Ben had no malicious intent he was just messing with her. I said I was sick of it but he said that this is their way of bonding as step-siblings and I was getting in the way of it and being overprotective and unreasonable. We didn't talk after that and Ben is refusing to apologize and his dad is backing him up.